Hi, it's Ron Moore here. And there are, of course, some great upsides to the lockdown, the quarantine, the virus. And there's this human trait that I was taught 15 years ago. When I tell you what it is, you're going to go, yeah, of course. It's not like a, it's not a genius revelation. But it's a, a human trait that every human being possesses in limitless abundance. But it's mostly latent. It's hidden within them in the depths of their mind and their body. And it only really ever comes out for most people under threat or necessity. Uh, and I think there's a saying, necessity is the mother of invention. And I think it's a shame that it takes a virus, a pandemic and a, and a national and global lockdown to actually show us this amazing human trait that we all possess, which gives us opportunity and solution and productivity and progress and success in virtually all areas of life. And it's resourcefulness, you know, the ability to hustle and to figure out and to solve and to serve and to fix and to survive and to thrive, you know, to be able to, for example, grow a business on limited funds, to be able to live with limited means, to be able to... Um, <laughs> Keep yourself occupied in a, um, in a confined space. Create new products, new services, new solutions to pivot, to support, to figure out. And that, those opportunities are limitless. They're abundant. And the creativity and innovation within you is... Uh, limitless and abundant but it's mostly latent in people until there's a need so for those of you that have children and maybe some of you have been somewhat procrastinating um and you know you've been uh just not really living up to your full potential uh if you're if you were told your children would be um, kidnapped and you'd never see them again, or the things that you love and value the most would be taken from you. You had a week or a month to, you know, raise a hundred thousand pound or five hundred thousand pound for a business or a property portfolio, or uh, to create a pitch for a product or service and go out there, or create a new product and launch it. Um, uh, if you, if there was no plan B, no alternative. You, you had nowhere to look back and to only look forward and everything that you valued, um, you would lose unless you did it. It would be done. It would just be done. You would get it done. Um, and right now, this virus is bringing this out because a lot of people are in need now. Look at how many people are volunteering in the NHS or going back or helping and supporting or delivering goods to older people. You know, we, there's this... I know that there's a lot of criticism and trolling. Just had one on this video here. Um, I, I know there's a lot of that, but there's also a mass of human kindness and spirit and togetherness and support. Uh, and that's coming out because we're under pressure and stress and duress. Why couldn't that be the norm? Why couldn't we volunteer and donate and help normally? Because there's always need on the planet. I mean, you know, this virus, obviously, it's very serious, but th th there's 50 other ways that people die in 100 times the volume every day. Um, so this virus is proving to me and hopefully others that actually you can be so resourceful all the time and you can use your latent resourcefulness. You know, if you had 60 to 90 days to start and scale your business and launch it, you would. Um, if there was a global pandemic or your life depended on it or your family or your children's life uh, depended on it. Um, so yeah. And, um, you know, I, I did a, a personal development again, event 15 years ago, uh, and the trainer at that event just kept saying, look, human beings are amazingly resourceful. You have unlimited 
resourcefulness, but it's probably latent. It's untapped. Tap into it. Learn to tap into that resourcefulness, that creativity, that innovation. Now, a lot of people look at others and go, they're very creative. They're very innovative. But I couldn't be like that. I'm not creative. I'm not innovative. I'm practical, whatever. You know, I'm employed. I'm not self-employed. You know, uh, that's not that's not not the truth at all. Um, since this virus lockdown happened and we completely um, upside down and reinvented our business, we were forced to, by the way, but I, I'd kind of wanted to for a long time anyway. All of a sudden, my team are coming up with loads of great ideas. People that wouldn't normally perceive themselves as good at ideas people are all of a sudden chucking great ideas at me. And we've already implemented two of those really good ideas because there's necessity in them and there's necessity in me. And uh, everyone's working faster than ever and harder than ever and smarter than ever and more productive than ever in my team anyway, because there is necessity. So their resourcefulness is coming out. So this is a great lesson, a great lesson for life. Um, And it would be a real shame if in 90 days we all went back to normal and got lazy and had excuses and haven't got time. There's too many other things to do, blah, blah, blah. And and all that started to creep back in. And, you know, let's be honest. um, I think now we really do realise the true meaning of entitled and lazy. And, um, you know, right now that's just got to be gone if you want to survive and thrive through these um, challenging times. So whether it's being a parent with your children and homeschooling them uh, or whether it's starting or scaling your business or keeping your business going and surviving and thriving or creating a new product and service and a new launch in these times, which are not just useful for people right now, but even better products and services than you were creating before. Now is the time to create better products and services um, and to serve and to solve uh, and to reinvent yourself and reinvent your, um, you know, your business model and you know, for example, we used to do monthly meetups for our masterminds face to face. And now we're doing weekly um, meetups online. Now, that's completely obvious, isn't it? But we're uh, quadrupling down on the value and the content um, because right now people need it and we need to give it to people to keep them you know, supporting us as we're supporting them. So, again, necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, and. Look, I I feel I'm usually pretty creative, pretty innovative. I do kind of have a sadistic enjoyment of a big challenge and a difficulty that everyone else is struggling with because I think that enables me to bring out my contrarian, disruptive, uh, creative side. But the last three or four weeks, I've proven to myself that for three months before that, I was more distracted than I thought, more overwhelmed than I thought. I was procrastinating more than I thought. I was wasting time and I wasn't as productive or as ruthlessly position, um, ruthlessly prioritised as I thought. And I thought I was quite good at all those things. And, and maybe I was compared to many. I mean, I'm, I run my own business. You kind of have to be, don't you? But this has tr- taught me that, oh, man, I've, I was at 50 percent or 30 percent capacity or resourcefulness of what I really could be. And I reckon that's the same for you. Danny, thank you for your 500 stars. You're an awesome legend. Please share. Um, what it is that you do. If you want to shout out for your business, your brand, your podcast, your website, your product, your pitch, what you've reinvented, how you help people, just give me 500 stars, which is just $5 to me, and you can get a shout out too. So let me summarize and finish then. And by the way, if you think this this, this content is useful, please share. Um, I, don't, I, I rarely um, ask things for people, and people are always asking me, Rob, you're helping a lot of people. Who's helping you? How can I help you? I've got loads of WhatsApp messages just saved saying, you know, how can I help you? I don't like to ask people. The way you can help me is review my stuff if you think it's useful and share my content if you think it's useful for people. Um, So, yeah, I I just think resourcefulness is the single human talent and trait that we all possess that can solve any problem, any problem, any worldwide problem, any individual, national, intercontinental or global problem. We can create out of nothing. We can have an idea and change the world. Um, We can make a massive difference, but it's usually too latent because there is no need. And now there's need and let that need bring out that resourcefulness. And then when it's brought it out and you've proven to yourself what you can do when there's a need, then maybe you can be like that moving forward and you don't have to have a pandemic um, or a lockdown to prove that to yourself. So, again, if you think resourcefulness is useful to your community and in your social media groups and on your pages, please share this video around. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Uh, And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Stay healthy. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep putting yourself out there, keep doing your thing. 
you're going to have critics, trolls and haters. I've got someone pretty much stalking me right now and uh, making out that I owe them money when I don't. Um, he's got challenges himself, which would be indiscreet to say. Uh, but, you know, we all have to endure challenges right now. You put your work out there more and you're going to get more criticism, more trolling, more challenge because the world is scared and people need money. Um, I had someone asking for money back for a course they did four years ago. That's like me going to a restaurant I uh, um, ate in four years ago and saying, look, if I just like, stick my fingers down my throat and chunder it back up um, from four years ago, do you think I could have my money back? And, but people are scared and people are lonely and people are clutching at straws because that's where we're at in the world right now. But you don't have to be like that. You could be more creative. Look at what you can create rather than what you can take and pull back. Um, because, yeah, the, the world's definitely going through a, a changing time. Um, some people say the world will never be the same again. It's completely changed. Other people say, well, you know what? Things will go right back to normal. Um, I don't know what you think. Maybe put in the comments if you're watching the live video. Do you think the world will be completely changed? How do you think the world will be completely changed? Or do you think it will just go back to normal? Everyone will have a massive party and then everything will just go back to how it was. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And please share this if you think it can help others. Because I think we need to increase the energy, the positivity, the productivity, the solutions, the creativity, the innovation. Because now is the perfect time. Because necessity is the mother of invention. So get inventing. Thanks a lot.